Morning everyone, happy Tuesday. Crisis communications. When we see crisis in action, this is where amazing comms comes out, these gems where we can be like, ah, that's what great comms looks like. And a recent horrific situation is the Gabby Petito disappearance because there was a statement from her family that is an amazing lesson for us of how to look at our comms and also I'll talk about how you can think about using that technique. Now the family put out a statement after Brian's family reported him missing and their response was all of Gabby's family want the world to know that Brian is not missing he is hiding. Gabby is missing. Now this was an amazing statement because A, it reframed and labeled him and his behavior and also redirected the audience to say, ha, 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 ha. no, our daughter's missing. The reason this was so powerful is that they used simple language and they were focusing specifically on what needed to change. What was it about the current situation was, that was not conducive to finding their daughter? A, the spotlight was on him, and B, it was making him look like he was in trouble. So their simple thing of relabeling him from missing to hiding, and then underlying that their daughter was missing, was very powerful. Now what does this mean for you? Like, fortunately, majority of us are not going to go through horrific situations like this. However, at the same time, we still want to influence people. We still want to get our point across. Now, the, what you can take away from this is when you need to influence, when you need to change someone's mind, behavior and such, going simple is better. Working down to the simple concept that you need them to take away, to reframe, is what's going to work. It's going to be memorable. There, it's going to get them, it's going to linger. So if you focus on the simple and you make sure that you're reframing and refocusing, this will help you get your point across. Now, I hope that's some food for thought. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week.